I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed oh, nobody. No. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate, for your own sake. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Stop that, immediately. Let go of me. You, you have no right. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Oh! What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Ash, 
Nash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer.
Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward.
That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jake. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Come on, let's go this way. Downstairs, they're in the alley. Follow them. The subway.
Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan! Ethan, they're coming! than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then.
You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Thank you. 